Hey, uh, so we are not going to be doing a proof in this video. Instead, we're going to discuss the um, formal way to write out uh, what it means to have exactly one pair in a relation. So this is going to actually be a two-component answer. First off, exactly one pair in a relation. So we know there must be an x and a y, or you know any other variable names you want to use, such that they are related because we have exactly one so we have to have at least one by definition but we also need to so so this means um, at least one but we also need to have no more than one and, and what does that mean that means for all uh, let's say a and b if a is related to B, that implies that A equals X and B equals Y. And this means at most one. And I'm gonna I'm gonna put that all together and then we're gonna go over it again. So this whole thing is gonna look like this. There exists an XY such that X is related to Y and for all a and b, so any other two variables, such that those variables are related, that implies that your first variable is equal to x, your second variable is equal to y. And then uh, let me make sure our parentheses line up. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 0. OK, so let's step through this one more time just for clarity. Uh, we need to say, uh, uh, well, back to our, our basic premise. We want to show what it looks like to have exactly one pair in a relation. So we need to have, for starters, at least one pair, because if we have zero pairs, we don't have exactly one pair. So there exists an xy such that x and y are related. Now we need to show that we have at most one. And so this means that for all other elements that are related to one another, or all other you know variables, this is equal to x, this is equal to y. So anything else you put in there, if they are related, that means that they are the same x and the same y. And this is what it all kind of boils down to.